Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we are going to do a unboxing of Thunder at Dawn. This is part of Herman Lutzman's uh, Blind Sword series, the American Civil War. There are some others in the Blind Sword series, but the majority of which have been through Revolution games. Uh, this is Volume Five in the Revolution version. Um, it's uh, they don't come in uh, shrink wrap, so there's no shrink here to take off, but. Uh, they come in a bag to protect them as they travel. But uh, anyway, so let's just crack it open, see what you get inside the box. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. It's got some lovely artwork here on the cover, as you can see. Uh, it's very cool. You get the South fighting across this creek. It's the Battle of Wilson's Creek. So very cool artwork there. All right, so let's take a gander here. Start off, we've got a turn record track. It's gonna be on stiff cardstock. Oh, and then you get the artwork again. If you get the folio version, this is probably what would serve as the, uh, as the cover. And you flip it over. So very good about being efficient with their uh, their printing processes. They do a great job with these games. So you get your victory points, you get your broken track. As, as units get broken, they advance each turn. Uh, and then the turn record and who comes in and different, when different events enter the battle. And then you've got your cohesion test, reference chart, combat results table. And the cohesion test table and the terrain key. And you get two copies of this, one for each player. This is a two player game, but like most war games, you can true solo it by playing against yourself and playing both sides. It has a chit pull activation system, which is always perfect for uh, true soloing a, any game uh, and playing against yourself because you don't know who's going to get to act. So two copies of that. Good. A little glossy uh, cardstock. And then we've got our Confederate unique event description chart. These are the, some chits that you pull that generate events. And when they come up, these describe what they are going to do. And then a player aid. So this one is for the Confederates. And there's usually, we're going to skip ahead here, there's usually one for the Union. And in this case, I do not see one. So normally the player aid is the same. And these are hand packed, made in America, so they, I'll have to request one here. They probably just they just left it out, but uh, I just confirmed in the rules that there is there should be a fifth reference sheet, which would be the the Union reference sheet. So you'll get one. I'm sure they'll they'll make it right. Okay, so then you get a sheet of exclusive rules, and with the exclusive rules is you got the blind swords rules. Like most series games nowadays, you have the series rule book and then the exceptions and the additional rules that get added for this. So we'll take a look at each one separately. This is a very shorter book. This is only 12 pages. And this one's full color. Uh, it explains any differences with the counters or specifics about the counters for the units in this game. So these are going to be the, the variation of the rules. So if you already know Blind Swords, you know this you'll learn this and get right to playing. So, all right, so you got that. And then you've got the series rules, which are a matte finish, more of a, uh, not a magazine stock, but a uh, paper stock, which is, which is very nice because it's not as reflective. So these are the ones that are gonna apply again for all the games. And this is a 16 page manual with an index on the back. All right, so then we've got a sheet of counters. And these, I believe, are uh, 5 eighths or 9 sixteenths counters. Okay, and you've got the Union, and you've got the Confederates. you got your shaken markers, game turn, and then, um, so you got your units up here, and you got the various um, events that would be drawn, and yes, here are some Union events, so you definitely need that uh, Union reference sheet. And these are your standard die cut. Uh, you take them out in strips, 
and they're attached at the corners, so you probably want to use the Oregon Laminations 2.5 millimeter corner rounder, the best corner rounder for all your corner rounding needs, uh, to, to trim those up a little bit if you so choose. Um, so they'll come out, you know, like in strips, and then you break them apart, tear them apart, or if you're really careful, you can use a rotary cutter or something like that to get them out. So, uh, but this this looks particularly well registered. Everything's centered. I'm gonna try to punch one out. So you punch them and they come out in a group. So, but uh, good size, good thickness. Not too thin, not too thick. So that's nice. All right. And then you get a little tiny die, which you'll probably want to replace. Something bigger, but there you go. And finally, the map. I believe this is a 22 by 34 map by the late, great Rick Barber, who we lost earlier this year, who always did these wonderful vintage-looking maps. Um, and he will be, he will definitely do this. So I'm going to fold that out like that. This is a portrait-style map. So it's going to sit long ways on your table instead of this way. So we'll get some close-up video here of the map. It, uh, you know, his, his handwriting, the style. Uh, I'm sure someone will come along and follow in his footsteps for future releases. But boy, uh, he just had a style that was just so beautiful. So... This is the map for the Battle of Wilson's Creek. Thunder at Dawn. All right. Just because it says sharp, I don't think we're going to get Sean Bean involved in these battles. Nice. Well, no, these battles in uh, the Civil War, I don't know too much about, and I'm going to learn it. So, I think uh, since earlier versions, the, the elevation seems to be a lot clearer. I don't know if they've done something to darken it up, or if it's just my imagination or old memory. Well, let's uh, rebox it and recap what you get in the box. So, if you pick up a copy of Thunder at Dawn... Uh, number five in the Blind Swords series. You are going to get the beautiful uh, 22 by 34 inch Rick Barber map. You're going to get a sheet of counters. You're going to get one die. You're going to get the series rule book, the exclusive rule book. You will get five of the player reference aids. I have four, I will get that replaced. And if you order the box version, you will get this beautiful, beautiful box. And that is Thunder at Dawn, The Battle of Wilson's Creek. It's from August 10th, 1861, Volume 5 in the American Civil War by Revolution Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!